During the First and Second World Wars, Canadians acquired a reputation for running in where others fear to tread, for holding their own even when overwhelmed and attacked from all sides, for persevering when others fail. The work of our troops on Hill 355 substantiates that reputation. The Americans were on 355. It got overrun and they lost it. I was sent over to see if I could help them at all. And it was just a slaughterhouse. You couldn't help them. There was bodies everywhere. So then they called for the Canadians to come back in and take it again. Uh, 355 was the largest mountain around for 20 miles. The RCRs were there. The Chinese had arrived the previous night. They were at the foot of the mountain. Stayed there all day until the following night. They attacked at 7 p.m., just at dusk. All the artillery had been synchronized, cannon by cannon, on the mountain. The fire was so intense that we couldn't separate one explosion from another. I don't know how many thousands of shells were fired there. It was just one continuous explosion, with all the cannons firing at the same time. That's when things got going for real. It came down on us like rain. I heard the screaming and hollering and bu bugles blowing, and it was kind of scary, <laughs> even, even sitting on the next hill. So I can imagine what the, the uh, RCRs felt when they were attacked that night. Then we got orders to engage, because the hill was just to the right of us, and we were able to engage them properly where the troops were. So we shot at least 15,000 rounds that night. Those cannons, I tell you, they can really spit them out. They were firing spurts of 25 rounds, and then they spotted us. A few of my buddies died there. I think they took about 18 prisoners of war from us. And they, they hit, that was the, the, the hardest battle we had. On the other hand, there was one thing they didn't know. There was a guy named Harry Pope, who was an extraordinary tactician. He was awarded the MC in Korea. He was there, and he was the one who coordinated all the artillery fire. And I was on the next hill, so we were actually calling fire down. Uh, right on top of them because the RCRs were in their trenches. The Chinese were running above the ground. It lasted a long time, and they were forced to evacuate the RCRs who were there, and then they sent in a new battalion. It was a good night's work. It uh, started around 6 p.m. The sun was just setting, and it lasted until almost 10.30. Whether we kill any of our own people or not, I don't know, but we certainly did... Uh, raised enough heck with the Chinese that they retreated and left. It was pretty tough, but they didn't get through. The Americans were running away. Somebody had to do the job, so we did. 